Good morning, Lamar family. I was thinking about the two words, trials and tribulations. Those two words don't exactly roll off the lips with ease, but the truth is everyone faces tests and trials over the course of a lifetime. God has assured us that we will face difficulty and that no one is immune. God has also assured us that he will always be with us. In Psalms 9, 10, it says, those who know your name trust in you, for you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Now, we don't always have control over our circumstances, but we do get to choose our attitude. You and you alone decide what kind of attitude you will have in any given situation in life, and the attitude you choose determines your level of enjoyment and happiness. We should also look at these as opportunities for growth. Helen Keller once said, character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through the experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, ambition inspired, and success achieved. As much as I hate to admit it, I grow much closer to God during the difficult times. God desires an intimate relationship with us, but we wear our busyness as a badge of honor, too busy to really appreciate all the important people and things in our lives, and sometimes too busy for God. So God hit the pause button, and while we're on pause, let's slow down and smell the roses. Uh, take a deep breath. Remember who you are. Remember whose you are. And let's take time to appreciate our God, our families, and our beautiful world. And let's take time to glorify God in all things. I am reminded of the chorus of my favorite hymn. It says, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future, and a life is worth living just because he lives. If you would, bow your head with me. Dear God, please put your loving and protective arms around our families, our city, our state, our country, and our world. Help us to maintain an attitude of faith, praise, thanksgiving, and positive expectations. And we know that we will definitely come out of this situation victoriously at just the right time. And Lord, help us to glorify you in all things. In thy name we pray. Amen.